How's it going everyone? My name is Max with Max Magic Cooking and I'm going to show you how to make some guacamole today. The first time this recipe came about for me was a little after I went to a Mexican restaurant and come around with a car mix of a batch of guacamole for you. Well, the one I had wasn't so good so I was inspired naturally to make one really good and while I got home tried to mix up a few things and boy did I hit it good because it was some really really good guacamole. I wrote the recipe down right away and I'm going to share it with you today, so let's get going. Okay, breaking it down here, just to help you out a little bit, other than just giving you the ingredients and, and the form they need to be in, took the whole jalapeno and de-seeded it. You just cut it in half, get a small knife, or you can even screw around with a bigger knife. Take out the seeds and all the whiter, fleshy parts of the jalapeno. You need one clove of garlic here, and to crush, you just to get the skin and all that off before you mince it, you just take a bigger knife, Squash it down and pull it off. Right there, there goes the skin. Take off the little hard brown part. Save that for later. When it comes to the onion, yeah, I had about a medium regular size red onion. I use a red onion here. I recommend you use red onion. Uh, just take a three quarter inch section about off of it. So, so yeah. avocados, simple. You just cut right around, around it with the knife like this. So you get around, pull it apart. Get the pit out if it doesn't fall out, you just Go in with the knife and you kind of, well, as long as it doesn't break, and you just rip it right out. Discard it. Careful though. Cilantro, I have about eight sprigs, and you can keep a little on reserve just because sometimes it's a little nice to have a little more cilantro, but other than that, about eight sprigs of cilantro. I took a lime, cut it in half. What we're going to do with the lime is fill up one of the halves of the avocado with the lime juice, and that's the amount of lime juice we're going to use for the whole thing. Otherwise, but to get going here, we're going to spoon out the avocados, of course, and uh, I'm going to do that off the camera for you. Alright, so we got the red onion there all diced up, sort of minced up jalapeno, minced up garlic, and with the cilantro, just take off as much of the thick stem part with the, that have no leaves on it. Just, throw just that kind away. of lightly chop them. Right, yeah, just lightly chop a few times. Okay, so I just finished up the cilantro there, and now when it comes to the avocados, a little bit about avocados. You want a soft avocado. They come really rock hard and light green when they're when they're not very ripe. You want it to be nice dark skin. You should be able to feel it. it should be soft. It shouldn't have little hollow points around it if, as you feel with some really ripe avocados. It should just be kind of soft, pliable avocado. They come in different sizes. I mean, this I would say is a quite average size avocado. Some are very large. Some are very small. But this recipe pretty much calls for just two regular sized avocados. And well, if I could translate, I would say each avocado is probably a little more than half a cup. So you're looking for a little bit more than a cup of avocado in the end here. And I'm not on camera. I have about, this is a little, little pinch under a half a teaspoon of salt. This is coarse salt, so half a teaspoon of this is a little bit less than half a teaspoon of iodized small fine salt. Alright, so before you put all your avocados in, in your mixing bowl, whatever you're using, you go with the natural measuring device, which is the half of an avocado, pit removed, filled with lime juice. And if you don't really, if you forget to do it or whatever, I would just say it's a solid couple teaspoons of lime juice that you want to go in for your guacamole. So I got the lime juice in there and before I add everything in, or before I really mash up the avocados, I'm going to add everything in. Man, does it smell good. Lastly though, got my salt, throw that in. And you know, you can reserve a little salt around. You know, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of dash of black pepper too, almost forgot. That's not really that necessary. So here we go. Take a fork, big fork and your bowl, all the ingredients in there, and you just start mashing it up with a fork. That's all you gotta do until it's nicely soft, and it will. It'll get softer and softer as you press it down. You better get ready for this, because this is a very, very, very nice moment. Mm-hmm. I quite got another one of these. Now I would like to say this one thing. The results are gonna vary because you're gonna have varying ripeness in avocados. Your avocado's not gonna be the same size as mine, and your salt's probably not gonna be the same as mine. So what I would do 
just follow the directions, but please, you know, use a little bit of your, your cooking expertise, your little, you know, inspiration, and, you know, add a little more salt if it needs it. Hopefully you didn't put too much in, you maybe have a little avocado on this, uh, a little extra avocado could even it out. But, you know, work with what you got, and I really, really hope you like this recipe. I really thank you for watching this recipe. Thank you for coming to Maximize Your Cooking. And please stay tuned, subscribe, like my videos. Love to have you.